Hello, I am Buffy the Man here. And today I shall be reviewing the TV series Season 1 of Being Human. This stars Sam Witwer Wiener. I can't say his last name, so Sam it is. And you may know some of the things he's done for before Being Human was Dark Angel. Angel Bones, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Smallville, where he played key was Doomsday, CSI and NCIS, and he was in The Walking Dead, he was the dead guy in the tank. And also, he plays the uh, vampire who was turned during the Revolutionary War, and he works as a nurse in the hospital in Boston. Then we have Meg Hen, Raph. I think I'm saying it right. She plays the ghost in the house that was killed by her boyfriend when she got pushed down the stairs. Or, yeah, when she got, I think she got pushed down the stairs. She was in, you may remember her from Aaron Stone, Heartland, Fries with that, and 18 to Life. Then you have Samuel Huntington, a Jewish werewolf who is orderly at the uh, hospital too and his creds are include Law and Order, Detroit Rock, CSI Miami, CSI New York, Even Target, Warehouse 13, Not Another Team Movie, and Veronica Mars. And basically this first season deals with them, they find this house that's being rented out by her ex-boyfriend, or oh, ex-fiance actually, and she, you know, she's been there for a while now, and that no one can see, she thinks no one can see her, and they move into the house, and they see her, and she's really happy about that, and they begin living life together, and it, it's the impossible not impossible. There's some barriers like Aiden's uh, old accomplice bishop, who was played by Mark Pelagorno. I can't say his last name either, so it's just Mark. And Mark's uh, credits, some of his credits are. Breakout Kings, Lost, CSI, CSI Miami, Knight Rider, Chuck, and he played Lucifer in Supernatural. So, that's like awesome. And pretty much he's an antagonist throughout the season because he gets in Aiden's way. Uh, trying to be normal and even... Well, pretty much in the first episode, Aiden has one I stand with a girl named Rebecca and drink their blood and next thing you know she's a vampire and he's trying to keep Cheryl be a vampire Josh is dealing with being a werewolf because every month he has transforms and in this season we find out that uh, his, I believe, coach. He could be coach. Anyhow, but, um, oh, but, yeah, bit him and turn him to a werewolf. And Josh is pissed off about that because he didn't want this life. He's trying to find a cure throughout the season. And he has a sister named Emily, who is a lesbian, who finds Josh and he tells her to stay away from her. And she doesn't, and pretty much she learns he's a werewolf, and yada, yada, yada. So, anyhow, if the season progressed, and one of the main conflicts is the old ones come to town and Bishop has Aiden by his side and they kidnap Josh for a wolf on wolf fighting contest 
and Josh is not where they have. It's not where Aiden's there, and Aiden's not where Josh is there. And Aiden's stuck, really can't stop him. And. Uh, and then, I don't want to ruin it. I hate to do spoiler alerts, but I will anyhow. It's the season. Towards the end, you find out about Josh. You no, know, Aiden has this girl. He used to date back in the day. And they're going to leave town. She wants to become a vampire, but he won't do it. And he leaves, and she runs off, tries to run off, and Bishop kidnaps her and tells her he's not worth her time transforming to a vampire. So he meets up with her years later. And she is dying of lung cancer. So, and he offers her then to become a vampire and she declines him. So, later on, uh, him and Bishop get into the final fight and Aiden beats him. Stabs him. Uh, no way, he decapitates him. Oh, fuck yeah. He watched the I watched the whole series, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he beheads him. And pretty much takes over his sector of his the vampires there in Boston. And Josh is like dating this woman named Nora who finds out she's pregnant with his baby. In spite of alert, she does become a werewolf in the next season. So you don't like spoilers, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not pretty much how it goes. And Sally did get her to get this thing called a door. And this door would uh, take you to the next life once you are uh, you learned something or you completed what you're supposed to do. And she did, and the door came. And at that time, Josh got, Josh got hurt really badly. So she denied her door and went to help Josh. So she's stuck there now. This, this DVD has some good features. It has like the making of being human, what, what you choose, the feature. Uh, additional interviews with Sam Whitler, Mega Roth, and Sam Hillington. Being human at San Diego Comic Con. This is based on the British show of the same name, which I have not watched yet, which one of these days I will watch it. Oh no! This is a dangerous show. Sad moments. Good writing. It's going to be out next year for season three. So, all in all, I love it. There's nothing really bad about it. Other than sometimes Daddy Smy does get the best of you and he's like, shut up already. So, all in all, what would I give this series this season? Out of five? I'll give it four and a half. It's a decent series. It's worth checking out. Plus the you wanna watch the first season, it's either on Netflix to watch there. Or you get season one real cheap. I got this for like about ten bucks at Walmart. So I would recommend this highly. And you want to learn more about it? Just look go on the internet, go to Wikipedia, beinghuman.wicca. I think that's what it's called. And you can learn more there. Alright. Well, that's all for me. Buffy Patina, man. 
signing out.